Hello guys, I'm at the Singapore airport and I'm going to tell you some of the best attractions at the Singapore airport as well as I visited the birds paradise where I'm going to take you and show you some beautiful birds. If you are at Singapore airport and you have got some spare time, do spend time exploring these beautiful attractions. And that's the enchanted garden on T2 level 2. The centerpiece of the garden comprises four giant glass bouquet sculptures decorated with a mosaic of reflective and shimmering stained glass. Another thing that you can do is do some window shopping on the shops on each terminal. Now I'm taking to a one more attraction on the T2 that's called the Dreamscape. It's an immersive indoor garden where nature and technology merge in a magical symphony. This space has got 20,000 plants. It has got a ever-changing digital sky which mimics the real-time weather conditions creating an atmospheric light and sound show that evolves throughout the day at 30 minute intervals. If you have got time, do visit the world's tallest indoor waterfall. It's in Jewel, which requires a transit visa to get to the Jewel. But look at it, it's so beautiful. Now I'm heading to my next destination, that's the Bird's Paradise. You can take a train from the airport itself, but I took a cab. If you are taking a train, you need to get down at Khatib and from there you have to take the shuttle which will take you to the Bird's Paradise. When you enter the Bird's Paradise, that's what you see at the entrance. After enjoying the waterfall, we went to get our tickets and it will cost you $48 per person and for the child it's $33 and after that you scan your tickets and you get into the bird's paradise. As we are hungry, we had our breakfast in the morning, beautiful cafes and lots of options to eat at this bird's paradise. After having our breakfast, we are in the Wing Sanctuary Zone and that's the Great Hornbill and that's the Oriental Pied Hornbill. These hornbills are found in Southeast Asia and that's the Toucan and that's Kago, bluish grey bird endemic to the dense mountains forest of New Caledonia. There is a lookout point over here. Let's go and see. That's the cafe over there. And that's where we saw the hornbills and other birds in the cages. Now we are in the shuttle which will take us to the crimson wetlands which is the another zone over here. In Bird's Paradise, you'll see these big blowers, which you will find it everywhere because that's really hot. Now we are heading to the Crimson Wetlands. Let's go and explore. Over here, we're going to meet some of the world's most brilliantly colored birds amongst wetlands, vegetation and the crimson blooms. 
and that's the American flamingo. This species has the most vibrant plumage of all flamingo species. And you know that right? They get their distinct pink color from the algae and the shrimp they eat. And in this section they have got some things for the kids as well as you can see. And that's the red fronted macaw and the red and green macaw. It's an amazing experience to see them so close. This red and green macaws are found in the forests and woodlands of northern and central South America. They are intelligent and can mimic human voices as well. Beautiful bird. And here in Crimson Wetlands, they have got the beautiful 20 meter tall waterfall. That orange bird is called as the Scarlet Ibis, mostly found in South America and parts of the Caribbean. The bright red plumage comes from the pigment found in the diet of shellfish and shrimps. There are some other attractions like the treetop play and the egg splash for kids over here. And that's the egg splash. And that's the comparison between the elephant bird egg and the bee hummingbird egg. Now we are entering into the wings of Asia zone. After seeing the wings of Asia, now we are in the heart of Africa. And that's the African Grey Parrot. Looks like he's very much interested in my camera lens. Here you get a chance to feed the birds as well. Now we are done seeing all the birds, we are a little bit hungry now, we had amazing food at this banana leaf restaurant. Now waiting for the shuttle to the Khatib metro station, it comes every 15 to 20 minutes. 
SP Plus. Do let me know how was the video with your likes and comments. Thank you.